up guys the James D TV here uh, in this video yes this is the laptop you guys remember this um, good, good old friend of the channels it ran Windows 10 then I installed Linux Mint then I got pair OS on here then I went back to Linux Mint then I had VirtualBox with Windows XP then the screen broke and then you guys haven't seen any content with it until now uh, this is actually filmed on my day off from school. It's the 11th of November. It's Veterans Day. So I had the day off, but the next day, which is tomorrow, Friday, I have school. Don't get that at all. But I guess that's how it is. Um, but yeah, now we got the laptop. Uh, there, It's got a new screen. There's some issues, though. The webcam's destroyed. It doesn't work. And I actually tried reinstalling Windows a while back. No Wi-Fi, sound, or Bluetooth drivers. Not even any display or power ones so i didn't know my battery percentage couldn't adjust the brightness couldn't connect to wi-fi couldn't connect to bluetooth no audio so i went back to linux mint and it's got a it's got a mac os mojave theme i mean look at that got, we got google chrome on here at least i was using chromium which is like the open source version I, I i was using this but it doesn't work with my google account with the sync and everything so i had to keep on signing into youtube every once in a while to check youtube studio when I don't want to use the app on my phone. But then I got Google Chrome installed, so now there are no problems. I kept Chromium in the dock just for whatever reason. Uh, I got the, I got OBS Studio. We actually have Wine on here, which allows me to run Windows applications. So we did get iTunes. We got three U tools. And I think that's, that's it that I got on here that are Windows applications. I actually have Kodi, I have a DS emulator, and VirtualBox, which is what we're gonna be looking at. And then this is just Rhythm Box right here. This isn't another iTunes. I do have two iTunes applications. This was 64-bit and this one's 32-bit. But uh, we're gonna be looking at Windows XP and then there's gonna be another video I'm probably gonna film today of me upgrading it from XP to Vista. I've actually been using XP on here for a while. Uh, if you're wondering how I got around the whole 32 gigabyte storage on my laptop thing, I actually saved the virtual hard disk to my micro SD card. The only one I could find, which was in my Motorola, so I had to wipe everything. But I realized my photos were backed up to Google Photos because I just recently downloaded the app to my iPhone. Found all the photos on there. So, no need for backing it up from the, the phone. So, we're going to actually start it. I have a Windows 7 virtual machine because I actually did do a... I'd had Ubuntu 20.04 on here and I was using. I was trying to get Windows 7 to work. It was too slow and it was just freezing, so that's when I went back to Linux Mint and the, the copy and everything failed. So I'm just gonna, I actually just did XP. It was a process to actually get the virtual disk image onto the SD card, but now I have up to 32 gigs of storage. And then as you can see here, we've got the TV in the background. Here's me filming with my iPhone 8. There's me, of course. But yeah, no, that's my TV. There's an Xbox 360, there's a PS3 off to the to the right of the TV, but to the left in the image. Yeah, Microsoft Windows XP. We've got the Wi-Fi and everything. Like, we've got drag and drop. We have the guest editions, the extension pack. We have everything we need for this to run right. We got two profiles. The, the Dingus one is a joke because DinkPods has a EPC. Oh, whoops, I almost put EPC as my password. That is definitely not my password. But DinkPods has the EPC, so it was a joke. Because, you know, Dankapod says dingus a lot. And then, uh, no, I don't care about the new hardware wizard. I don't care about the antivirus software either. We got the, win the, the, the Linus Tech Tips Windows XP wallpaper, just because it's funny. We've got MyPal installed, which I actually learned about this web browser through Michael MJD's video. This is where he was, like, using web browsers and stuff. And other videos where he was using Windows XP. I noticed he had MyPal because he was installing WinOS 10. I actually did try that. I did it. It it wasn't working right for me, so I uninstalled it. But now, uh, let me go to properties. We'll go to appearance. Oh, screensaver. That's what we want. We're gonna preview. Look, look. It it says professional. It's actually the French version now because WinOS 10 was French. Now it just completely ruined my Windows system. So I go into um, properties for the start menu. I don't think you can see it, but ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, it's in French. <coughs> it's completely screwed it up. So I'm actually thinking about upgrading this to Vista. That's right, Vista. The one everyone hated. 
I actually saw Linus Tech Tips video on Vista. Wasn't bad. I have iTunes. I have QuickTime. I don't actually open iTunes right now. Um, it's not showing. Th this is slow, even though it's on one gig of RAM, and my laptop has two gigs. I am gonna try to get myself a PC. Why is my phone adjusting itself? It's moving. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So I got around this whole storage issue by just putting an SD card in my laptop. It's saving the virtual machine there. Here we are. We're okay. Yep. I, I get this issue all the time. Every time I open iTunes, I have some sort of problem. It takes forever to load. This is an old version because the version of macOS on here is Mavericks. macOS Mavericks is very outdated. It's actually the last one to have the older Mac, like the OS X design that we all know from the past. Before we got the more modern design of, uh, I think it was Yosemite that changed that. I don't, I can't install the latest version of iTunes. I agree. I already have my music on here. Well, some of my music I downloaded from my iCloud drive. That it was just MP3s I downloaded with YouTube converters. It's the nice thing about iOS 13 and later. Here we got Jack Harlow. Let's let's play some of that. Uh, routine. It's a good song. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it does work. iTunes works. It just doesn't recognize my iPhone, which. Windows XP doesn't even recognize it at all. At all. So yeah, this is Vista. I mean, not not Vista. Well, I am going to Vista. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this directly without losing all my stuff. Cause I have iTunes. I have My Pal. I have QuickTime on here. Friggin' QuickTime. I don't want to lose Vista. Cause I actually, I mean, I want. I don't want to lose my stuff. Although I'm gonna have to change the wallpaper when we do get Vista on here. Why is my camera lowering itself? What is going on? I hate this tripod, honestly. Or is it this thing that's moving itself? There we go. Alright, so, yeah. Internet Explorer doesn't work. We're gonna go on MyPal, which is a Windows XP compatible web browser that actually is made. It's new. Well, it's not 100% brand new. It's like a modern browser that works on XP. That, that's why I use it. I can't use Internet Explorer at all. I actually tried it already, and it doesn't work. So we're on MyPal, we're on Google's website right now. It is kind of slow when it loads, but watch, we're going to open YouTube. We're... Actually, no, let's let's open YouTube Studio. We'll check out the YouTube channel. We're going to we're going to do YouTube Studio cuz I actually was I did make the original video this morning. Oh, yeah, it says yeah, yeah, this uh, it doesn't know my what MyPal is. I can't get Chrome, Safari actually have the .exe file, but I haven't installed it. Edge definitely doesn't support um, support XP. Opera, I don't know. Firefox I've used before, and I don't think the, the latest compatible version for XP works anymore. So we'll skip to YouTube Studio. We can still do that. That's what I like. So we can actually check the channel analytics, and I just got a notification from Linus Tech Tips' YouTube channel. What is an Xbox certified display? That's a video. Okay, let's see if this will load. We actually have a cool loading bar down here, which I think I saw in Internet Explorer. Come on. It, it is slow. It does say that it will be slow or unreliable if I do not get a better browser, a compatible browser. I do like that it shows YouTube.com up here. It doesn't have the icon on here. Oh, no, it does. I, I never noticed that. I have Google on here. Uh, Linus Tech Tips just tweeted. Because he's talking about his new video. Hold All on. Alright, so now, um, yeah, we're on the we're on the channel. So the most recent video is my iPhone 6 jailbreak video, which came out yesterday. The views are at 6. I swear it had 10 views when I looked this morning on my phone. Average viewed... I don't like this. Let me actually see. Analytics. We're going to check those. Oh, we're getting, a low, we're getting an hourglass. It's no good. I actually want to check the analytics because I want to see how many of you that are watching my videos are even subscribed. I think most of the people that watch the videos are subscribed, but still, I kind of kind of would like more. I'm at 225. Plus four in the last 28 days. Yeah. That is true. I have been going from 25 to 24, actually. Well, 225 to 224. It's been going up and down. Come on, YouTube Studio. Now, when I actually do the Windows Vista video, I want to see if Vista, because it has Internet Explorer, I want to see if Internet Explorer on Vista will work. 
If not, I'll just stick to my pal. I do actually have some old pictures on my phone of um, Vista being on here in a virtual machine with the full screen and everything. Because I did get the the, the uh, whole extension pack. I mean, not extension pack. The guest editions, which adds the drivers for display and stuff. Which is weird because the USB doesn't work. And I actually tried loading the thing for it. But it wouldn't go for it. Okay, you know what? It's not responding. That's, that's, this is why I don't use old operating systems anymore. This is probably why I'm on Linux. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yep, my pal is just good. It's, it's being an idiot. Um, I don't want to stop filming, but I will just take a break real quick. All right, so I just left to go do something, and it is literally still on this. So I'm going to close out of my pal. And now... I do want to show you guys some of my custom themes that I made, which aren't exactly custom. They are fun. That I'm, It's kind of cool that I made them. Because, you know, I, I do like older Windows operating systems, even though I did just earlier say that I this is why I'm on Linux, because of slow crap like this. But, um... I do like, like, the design of the older older Windows operating systems, like, like 98, 95, ME and 2000, you know? Well, I mean, 2000 were just basically the same thing. One was for consumers, and, like, the other one was for business and stuff. So, like, you know, that, that's what I read online anyway. Don't just roast me in the chat because I'm talking about stuff and I get it wrong. Because I'm going off what the internet tells me. Okay, is my pal going to... Okay, I... End now. Come on. Just, just close out for me. End now. Come on. Okay, we're just getting... We're just getting the... We're getting... The, the the hourglass this this is a problem okay they said it was gonna be unreliable i didn't think it was gonna be this bad but as you can see it is the, the youtube channel and everything the dashboard i can actually start live streams if i had obs studio on xp just imagine that i had a pc that ran xp like an actual pc with good ram and i installed obs on here and i actually did a stream on xp that that's youtube content right there but my laptop is underpowered, so like, well, I think underpowered is the thing. I don't know. It's got two. It, it doesn't. It's not good. It it's it's poor. Honestly, I am trying to find a like. A, I saw this PC on eBay for sixty nine bucks. It was a Dell Optiplex. It's got a one terabyte hard drive, not an SSD, just a hard drive, and it's got eight gigs of RAM. Eight gigs of RAM. That's a lot compared to what this laptop has and what the virtual machine uses. That is eight times the amount of RAM that this virtual machine uses. So now that we're out of my pal, let's go on properties for here. This is this I think is the theme Linus XP. You know. It's got Linus tech tips on the XP Bliss wallpaper. That's why I called it Linus XP. This is actually a theme. If the Vista upgrade works, I will probably try to see if the themes will still work on vista i doubt they will but i, I could actually see if the windows 95 and windows 98 ones work okay is property is gonna load like is it is it gonna load because i've already done multiple clips of this video oh my god this is this is this is the thing i don't like about youtube content when you use old hardware and stuff or like poor hardware my laptop isn't that good. Why why does it go down all the time? Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Display properties. That's what we want. Yeah, we're on the theme Linus XP. Let's change it to Windows 95. Look at that. 95. The only reason it's 95 and not 98 is because I'm pretty sure 98 was the one with the gradient. 95 didn't have the gradient. So then we go in here. Windows 98. It had the same color background, but it had the gradients. I would pull out my LG right now and and launch the Windows 98 simulator, but I'm not in the mood to do that. Windows Classic, which basically makes me think of like ME and uh, 2000 right here. As you can see, the gradient is a little different. Ah, dang. Yeah, look at that. You see that? That's more like Windows 98. And then there is the Zoom theme, which actually came with this. This one's cool. Ow, oh, my nose. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. 
Why can't I sneeze? There's the Zune theme. Uh, Windows XP, the original XP theme. Apply. There we go. It's back on XP. Well, the XP theme. I don't know why I have two Linus ones, but uh, Linus XP is basically Windows XP with the Linus wallpaper. And, um, yeah. There are all the games on here, including the pinball one, the solitaire and everything. This is XP Professional. Uh, there is this weird issue, which I don't know if I already addressed this, but if we go into the... I did try Win OS X. I, I think I already talked about this, but just in case, because you know I have short-term memory, I don't remember. It says Windows XP Professional. You know, it's the French version. Uh, that's not what I wanted. But that's because of Win OS X. Now let's go into Properties. Taskbar. It's in French. Because this is, um, because Win OS X is made by a French developer. It's basically a transformation pack to make XP look like Mac OS X. It's a good theme. It didn't work well for me. The taskbar didn't move up to the top, so I didn't I didn't use it. The work the dock worked and everything. It changed the boot screen, but I didn't use it. So yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Pepsi Cola, I don't know ya. I don't know ya. Jimmy New, Jimmy New, check out my new, check out my new. Pepsi Cola, I don't know.